that, my friends, is a drill. Holy crap. That's not even all of it. Whoa. They are drilling in a new gas line and it actually goes underneath uh, underneath the river over here. That's some serious, that's a serious project. Wow. All right, uh, back, back at it again here. Um, just uh, closed up this case so we can take a look at it here. Um, I chose red for this uh, particular um, location. This one, uh, because every one is a mid span, except for this is kind of the dead end, um, and the you know the river's right over there, so it's not that crazy deal. Uh, went ahead and I put an eight way here. Um, that way, uh, we'll be able to hit these buildings here. Um, but also, if I ever do need to kind of extend down and pick up a few one-offs, um, and I'll show you how I uh, went about that. Uh, I spliced my red to the splitter. Now this is a ribbonized uh, splitter, and it comes in two four fiber ribbons. Uh, so I just left four of them right there. Um, and because you can really only land four uh, on each tray, I've done more, but you shouldn't. Um, went ahead and I put in this little jumper uh, conduit. Sorry, it's a giant poop truck. Uh, I brought my red. Um, uh, I brought four of my splitter up here and um, went ahead and I looped three of them around so when I come back, uh, if I do come back, I'll... Um, right, right there's the customer uh, and I just by coincidence chose uh, chose red for uh, it too but all right let's go take a peek at the box I did yesterday oh one thing so I'm guessing when you put these uh, flat drop adapters in you should tighten this right here down even if it's empty um, there was a little bit of water in this uh, Seth called me yesterday about it and I just couldn't imagine what I did wrong um, I mean, as far as the case itself what is that that sort of looks funny doesn't it um well, I can't really remember if that little clip goes there or not well, I'll go look at another one um, but there was a little bit of water in here. I'm starting to think. No, that's part of it. That's right. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably what it was. Also, uh, we got a freak amount of rain. Um, this box was... The other one's flooded right up to ground level, um, so uh, definitely filled filled up with some water for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just gonna go ahead. We'll head over uh, to the next. Can't get up in here. See what that turns out looking like. We are hooking up a movie theater, if you can believe that. Um, I don't know that there's that many left uh, here on the eastern shore, let alone in Maryland. So, what we'll do is, I always like to do my pigtail first because then I'm not stuck uh, stuck to the wall here. Um, something like that. Uh, 
Let's see how windy it was yesterday. Things are flying off all over the place. Oh boy. I'm going to have to take my blade here soon. Sometimes these pigtails, what I do is I'll cut these pigtails off with the splitters if I'm not going to use them. Um, sometimes they are a little bit of a pain in the butt. Hmm. All right, hang on, I gotta rotate my blade. And pretty much the hustle is just turn this up, push that forward a little bit. And just for shits and giggles. Whoa. And their funky noise did it. Cleaves you're supposed to get out of one of those. So I think I've done a thousand with this cleaver. Okay. There's a heater, uh, air conditioning unit behind me. I hope it does not turn on. It's not what I need in my life right now. Steady to camera. Cruddy, cruddy looking cleave. Maybe it is new blade time. Probably going all the way around on that wheel. Standing up, it's it can suck sometimes. God damn it. That's going to look a whole lot nicer. What the hell are you doing? I can't test this because uh, I don't have... Um, uh, it's not spliced in the, in the pop yet. 
Heater down. All right, on to the next one.